Welcome to Swift Kanban. In the previous video, we learned how to create a Kanban project. In this video, we're going to learn how we can modify the Kanban board using the Modify Process feature, working with various menu options in the Modify Process page, selecting a queue color, and configuring various lane options. Once you create the Kanban project, you can modify the board configuration and process to suit your requirements for this board. You can change your Kanban board by clicking the Modify Process icon on the left menu. When you click it, the Modify Process page is displayed. The left menu on this page has various options that will help you configure the board, including Define Smart Lane settings either based on a card attribute such as Priority, Class of Service, and so on, or by any custom label. Define card types for your project such as User Story, Defect, and so on depending on the type of project or board. Set other policies such as making it mandatory to provide a reason code while blocking a card. On an individual column, also referred to as a queue, you can set the queue color. This color is used to show the queue in the cumulative flow diagram. So you can define exactly how you want your CFD to look. You can configure each lane or column in various ways by splitting it into sublanes horizontally or vertically moving or adding lanes, deleting lanes, and configuring other lane settings. In the Lane Settings pop-up, you can add a lane title and description, choose whether the lane is a waiting lane or an in-progress lane, and what should be the WIP limit of that lane. These basic settings should get you started off with your own board design. There are other advanced settings that you can learn about after you have had a chance to work with Swift Kanban a bit more. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we'll explore the Kanban board user interface in greater detail. Meanwhile, if you want to learn more about modifying boards, visit our help page.